come in, come in, come in. Come in. Come in. I'm actually here with my friend Amy, but she doesn't want to come in, do you? Okay. Oh, the seat. Yeah, don't mind the seat. It's a bit wobbly. But yeah, um, I'm getting ready for my birthday. Sorry, I look like a boy, by the way. It's a bit um, unfortunate, but I really wanted to do like an actual glow up and I wanted to actually look not cute. Well, I didn't want to, but that's just the way it is. So basically, as per usual, very unorganized. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm starting with the MAC Prep and Prime on my face. So basically for my birthday, I did this last year as well. Just got an apartment and had some friends over. My other friends are on the way and when they come, um, they need to shut the f*** up because I need to <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna put on the MAC, MAC strobe cream. I wanna be really glowy, that's all I know. I'm wearing like a black number from Opali, obviously. So now that I have done that, I'm gonna be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brown in dark brown. As I'm doing this, I'm just gonna explain about the Australian bushfires because I didn't wanna start my video without mentioning it because it's been really affecting me and I'm not even near the bushfires. I was in the city the other day and you could hardly see the buildings in the background because of all the smoke. And I just think that's absolutely ridiculous that one, our government is hardly doing anything about it. And two, that it's even gotten to this point because it's been going on for three months. So all of the money from this video I've decided I'm going to donate to two charities. I'm going to split it between Red Cross and Wires. And if you would like to donate, I'll put the links in the description. Wires is all about rescuing animals that have been injured in the fires. And Red Cross is more to do with helping people and helping rehabilitate people into houses. And I think both are as equally as important. So if you would like to help either the animals or the people, the links are in the description. So yeah, I'm just starting my brows. I've been trying to like elongate my brows because I feel like they're just kind of short and stumpy. So I'm gonna talk about um, a topic that a lot of you seem to be interested in, which is a bit weird, but um, a lot of you are like, how are you famous? And for one, I don't classify myself as famous. I think that's a bit... By the way, I'm using the 24 hour brow setter. But yeah, definitely 100 million percent not famous. But everyone always like, they ask for advice and they're like, I'm looking to build my followers. How did you do it? Like it was a bit of a fluke. It wasn't meant to happen. I think when I was in year nine, year 10, I remember I had around 12,000. I don't know how, I just did. And my first like viral picture, it's still like probably my best doing photo to this day. I have a makeup page, so every time I would go out like to a little party or something, I would take a photo in my outfit and then I'd take a close up of my face to show my makeup. And I took a picture of my face with my makeup and I posted it and I remember I was, <laughs> I was on ski camp in year 10, 16, skiing on the slopes. Yeah, I was at ski camp and a page, like those pages that post like, I don't know, girls and their makeup. It was called like makeup. Makeup? I don't know, it was like a makeup page on Instagram. They had a million followers and they reposted my photo and all of a sudden, like overnight, I swear to God, I got 20,000 followers. And everyone's like, oh, you bought your followers, oh my God. One, I was on ski camp with all my friends, so no, and two, yeah, it just happened like that. And because the page with a million followers posted it, a hundred other accounts posted it. And if you go into my tagged photos, like that's the only photo that people post me to this day. That was how it all got it started. And then I remember the first brand that ever sent me free clothes was Meshki. And I was like, oh my God, Meshki's gonna be free clothes. And they actually reposted one of my photos. So it's literally all about getting bigger brands or bigger pages to repost photos of you, which is not a very easy thing to do. Like you can't control what other people post, obviously, but it just seemed to happen. And I was very lucky. And I was always extremely scared of doing YouTube because I guess on Instagram, it's not really your personality. You don't really show who you are. Like I didn't, I don't really tell anything about my life on Instagram. And I think that's one of the reasons why people think I'm such a snobby, stuck up bitch. And people think I have no personality. They're too scared to come say hi to me or something. But the truth is just a little girl. <laughs> And that's also the problem with YouTube. You put yourself out there looking like hideous without makeup. And I'm not gonna lie, like I'm not 
perfect every day at all and that's okay okay and also i think makeup completely transforms a face like oh my god a lot of comments in my first video they're like she went from 15 to 25 and like i understand without makeup i actually look 15 i actually probably look 13 but yeah makeup really helps me and makes the world go round doesn't it <laughs> I'm having a bit of a dilemma for my eyes. I don't know what to do, but I'm thinking like a pop of color in the inner corner and then just like having the lids like brown. And then obviously do a wink because that's what I do every time. If you see my nails, they're absolutely stunning. I've never had like claws before, like sharp nails. So basically I had nails before this and they were extremely, extremely long. And I ended up accidentally pushing back my pinky nail and um, the whole nail decided to come off. So I had zero actual nail on my pinky. So I went to go get my nails done, but I was thinking I'm not gonna have the pinky nail because like there's no nail, like, but obviously I do. So I was getting my nails done and he's like filing away, like, oh my God, that hurts. And I'm like holding my breath because I'm one of those people I don't really say anything. Like whenever I get massages and they're like, I'm like screaming under the table with no noise coming out. Like I can't say anything. I don't know why, but anyway, he was doing my nails and he's like, no, 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 you have to put a nail on the pinky finger. And you know how they like file your nails with like those electrical thing? I swear to God, he was filing the actual skin, my finger skin. Oh my God, it was hell. It was actually hell. But yeah, he somehow managed to stick on a nail. And through all the pain and the suffering, I now have a nail. But yeah, I'm using the Kylie bronze palette because that's the one I love the most. And yeah, I'm thinking of doing either this as a pop of color or um, like an orange, like a bright orange. And I'm now gonna put white on my lids. All right, I'm now gonna do the color pop. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, I just put it there, fricking frack. God. No, trust me. That looks horrible. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. It looks if terrible. You know, Leah, you're gonna it, have you're gonna have full face of makeup on. It actually looks good from far away. From from close, it looks a little, little bit like you have an infection. <laughs> <laughs> see, I should have done blue. Should I do one blue and then rub one off? It to see which one okay, I prefer. Okay. Yes. All right. Try one blue. Oh, maybe blue is better. Blue is so much better. I would suggest you take off the orange before it stains. Oh my god, it probably has stained. Luckily, we realized that orange was a complete mistake. I think maybe it doesn't look very good because of how dark it is. It's kind of staining. Let's put glue on this eye. Alright, so now I'm going to tight line my eyes. Alright, so now I'm going to line my eyes. Okay, so that is one wing done very thick i did my wings i was having a bit of trouble and anxiety and yeah they still don't look the best but we're gonna move past that so now i'm just gonna move on to my face see it matches my arm but not my neck my mum just called me and then i went to put my phone back and i just got foundation on the window which is really nice and now i stuffed up my stick oh now it's coming out like chalk oh my god Oh my god. All right, so I'm going to blend this in. I don't know why I'm rushing, but I am. I have all the time in the world, but I kind of just want to be ready and get it over and done with. I actually look like a mess. I like it really white under the eyes. And to get right up in there, I take my lightest concealer and I go with a little mini concealing brush and it just, it blends out everything so well. Then you can get up there and contour the nose. And then when you're done, you just go back in and pat everything in. And then also what I've been doing lately is I've been powdering my eyebrows. And as you can tell, my eyebrows look really dark, but I'm not gonna put foundation on because that's just stupid. I'm going to put powder on instead. And instead of baking, because we all know baking is a sin, it is the devil's deed. I'm just going to pat it in instead. Pat it in until it's like flawless. It's like instead of wiping it away, you just pat it into your face. <gasps> and also since my... Oh. Also since my last video, I have broken more Kylie products. Look at my peeling. 
look how bad that is when I'm like naturally tanned my face still stays white that's why it didn't look very cute because I had to fake tan my face and it makes all your ugly little blemishes come out contour time Anastasia time to contour the nasal cavity now for blush. Now, the NARS blush is actually indestructible. I have stood on this. I have dropped it, but it's living up to the name. Leah. Yeah. The Albion Shark. What? Same just sent this. The club level is closed. The rooftop is exclusively open. So I just realized that the place we were going to go clubbing <laughs> is officially closed. Okay, so now I'm going to bake. I'm only going to powder the front of the brows. Everything is going wrong. I'm ready way too early. My makeup isn't the best. Sirens are going off. And I can't go to the club I wanted to go to. Bless you. I've been baking and quaking for quite a while. And I'm going to line my lips. Now I'm going to put on celebrity skin. So the lashes I'm using, I've already worn them. They're the Aldora ones I wore in my haul. So now I'm going to put the lashes on. Another trick I do to make your eyes look more bigger and cat-like. At the outer corner, I stick the lash not on the actual line of the eye. I put it a bit up. And then, like, you can't even tell because the wing is coloured over it. All right, now I'm going to pat this powder in. See, now I look like 25. See, I'm not, like, pushing it away. I'm just, like, patting it in. And that way it keeps the like contoured look. And now for the most important part, highlighter. Wow, look at that glow. Okay, now I'm going to pat the highlight in so it doesn't look too freaky. Pat my eyebrows in so they don't look too freaky. All right, now I'm gonna put mascara on and then brighten up the inner corners and then I'll be pretty much done with my makeup. She's like into cats and stuff. She's a horse okay. girl, but a cat girl. And she well, likes it. Yeah. Should I change anything? No, it's done. So nice. Done. <laughs> I look like I look like Joe in you, like high man look. I'm now going to straighten my hair. I don't know what hairstyle I want. I might just have it straight. I was thinking maybe having my hair half up, half down, but I've I've been doing that a bit recently. <laughs> What's the verdict with my hair? I think yeah. I reckon she looks more elegant with it like that. Elegant. I kind of like it. It's cute straight. You look like a Barbie. Yeah. A Barbie. You actually do. Yeah. <laughs>